just a year ago, the annual Sunday Remembrance Day ceremony for the Oakville Legion was not in Chris Volk's Memorial Park, where it has been for decades. It was actually in Gene Reed's driveway. Now they sent bylaw over, and they were worried about it because of, you know, you're only supposed to have six people. Here we are a year later, and they had the somber ceremony in the park, at the Cenotaph, in Bronte, just like they always did. And it was pretty emotional. Even with the pandemic, you can never, never forget those who fought and those who died. And nothing should ever get in the way of the November 11th. Ever, ever, ever. It's so nice to be able to get out here today and have a few people around and really enjoy and embrace the whole service. It was already a special event, but it became extra special with the Minister of Defence being at the ceremony. Now this is a new portfolio for a member of parliament for Oakville, Anita Anand. In addition to her being the Minister of Defence, she's also just come from being the minister responsible for procuring the vaccines. And the two messages and the two jobs mixed here today in a very profound way. In a way, it is also special for me from that vantage point that it has largely been because of the vaccines as well as public health measures that have allowed us to incrementally begin to gather in a more uh, cohesive way through the, the months of 2021. The bottom line is that no matter what's going on in the world, whether you're allowed to gather, you're not allowed to gather, Freedom was won by people that died for it. They took a year off, they went virtual, things are not back to complete normal, but in Oakville, they gathered, they remembered, most importantly, they never forgot. In Oakville, Joe Warmington, Toronto Sun.